What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, it's me, it's DRB, a.k.a. The Fabulous, bringing you something new. We've had a little bit of a, a misconnection a couple times with our opponent, but I'm bringing you Pokemon League Battles. I'm part of the Pokemon League now, and this is my, my first opponent in this league ever. My daughter's awake in the background, so if you hear a baby making noise, that's her. But she's pretty happy right now, so we shouldn't have any problems. I drafted 13 Pokemon, and these are the best six I could possibly bring. So I'll talk you through it as soon as we go. I'm a little nervous, I won't lie. That's why my background right now is Kurt Angle, because his patriotism inspires me. And we're gonna... We're gonna do great. I'm not nervous. I'm a little nervous. But I'm, I'm confident in my, my skills, and I'm confident in the Pokemon that I brought. So he's packing Landorus Therian, Milotic, Dragalge, Hauriyama, and Raikou. The Mega he drafted for this league is Mega Alakazam. Now Mega Alakazam is a huge, huge issue. Because it is very fast, and it hits very hard. And about the only special wall I have is Rotom. But I brought one thing in the back. And that one thing in the back is Garchomp. Garchomp is Choice Scarfed. And staring at his team, even if he brings a Scarfer outside of Landorus Therian, I think I outspeed it. So I should outspeed everything on his team with Garchomp. And the only thing he's got off the ground is Landorus. So we're going to open with Big Rick. And he opens with, opens with Landorus. That's perfect. Now the question is, is this... Scarfed Landorus, or is this is this Stealth Rock Landorus? I don't have anything to get rid of Stealth Rocks, but the only thing that takes massive Stealth Rock damage is is Big Rick here. And honestly, if Big Rick gets rid of Landorus, that's all I care about. Now, I've calced this specific situation, and I know Hidden Power Ice Oko's. He's fast. Does this still kill without Life Orb? It does. <laughs> Alright. Sweet. You know what? That right there puts us in a fantastic position. Because it allows Garchomp to come in and one-shot three of his Pokemon. It one-shots Mega Alakazam. I know it does because I've calc that. Uh... Dragalge is weak to Earthquake, and it's also weak to Outrage, so I could click Outrage as well. And Raikou, I... Unless he's running, like, hyper bulky Raikou, I think... Oh, he does switch out to Raikou. Okay. Well, you know what? Honestly, I don't need Big Rick anymore. Oh, Raikou outspeeds me. Uh, he could predict me right here, uh, switching into Pinkberry. <sighs> I'm running Smooth Rock Sandstorm. <laughs> Gastrodon. What's wrong with me? Okay, so right here, I kind of expect him to Volt Switch. I kind of want to keep Big Rick around for that Melodic. But I know he's probably packing HP Ice. I do have Recover on Gastrodon. Does he really suffer anything going for HP Ice? No, I could get Metagross in here relatively for free, unless he swaps into Alakazam. Meta Mega Metagross runs through his team pretty hard, too. Hmm. We could go into Golgi Body. I think we're going to go into Rotom, just because I don't particularly care if he goes for Thunderbolt or or HP Ice or whatever. He, go he goes for HP Ice. Oh. <sighs> Life Orb Raikou. Okay. All right. Not Choice Scarfed. Not Choice Specs. Perfect. So we're going to click Light Screen. I bring, I brought light screen. I bring light screen for sp specific reason. I brought it because most of his high-powered attackers are special. Um, he does have some powerful physical attackers on his team, but the stronger attackers on his team are special. So I brought Rotom because it will allow me to continue to take hits. Oh, this is Guts Hariyama. Mm, this is a problem. Will Hariyama outspeed me? Yes, it will. Okay, so I'm not going to will o -Wisp him because that would be nonsense. Um, this isn't Flame Orb Hariyama, though. This might be Assault Vested Hariyama. 
But if I can get some damage off with Rotom, he might be the Salt Vest Guts. Uh, there's no way I'm going to burn a Hariyama. I'm, I'm not ridiculous like that. I'm definitely not that ballsy. The burn damage wouldn't be worth it. But I can get into... Um... Oh, I have to check one thing that I didn't look at, but I have to look at. Okay, right here, Raiko has pressure. Okay, he's not Volt Absorb, which I don't even think is allowed, but he's not. So, Okay, so I can expect a knockoff, um, and I can go into Golgi Body, but he still outspeeds me, and that's a problem. Uh, I could go into Big Rick here to take another knockoff. I could sack Big Rick is essentially what I'm getting at. I do have Thunder Punch on Metagross for that Melodic, which I have calced, and unless he's running a crazy spread, and I don't even know if that'll help him. I'm going to go into Big Rick because I I'm willing to sack Big Rick to get in Metagross. Go for knockoff. Okay. <sighs> Good. That would have been a problem. I'm tempted to go for Thunder Wave, but again, the guts. Uh, I don't really have anything else to do other than click Thunderbolt. I know he's not running Volt Absorb Raikou, which again, I don't know is allowed, <laughs> but I know it's a hidden ability. It might be like an Uber's ability, though. I don't know if he can use it in OU. Um, I'm tempted to go for Taunt just to catch anything coming in in case that Raikou is like Calm Mind. But again, I'm Scarfed Garchomp, and I'm very much saving my heavy hitters for cleanup. He's not bringing in Alakazam yet, which is great, but if I can get Garchomp in for free, I can run through his team. If I can get Melodic, if I can get Melodic. He went for Bullet Punch. I lived Bullet Punch? Oh, that's unfortunate. Don't get the para. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that'd have been bad. If I can get in... If I can get in Metagross for free, we've got a problem there, too. Because I'm packing Earthquake, Ice Punch, and Thunder Punch, as well as Bullet Punch. Uh, tough Claws boosted attacks. Okay, good. He just goes for Bullet Punch twice. <clears throat> All right, so we've got Hariyama. A couple things I could do. I could just go into TIE Fighter right now. That is honestly my best play. He'll outspeed everything barring that Alakazam. But even if I can get bullet punch damage on Alakazam, I'll be good. Alright, here comes TIE Fighter. He didn't go for Stealth Rocks either, which is which is fantastic, because that would have terrified me. Uh, everything else is on the ground. My best move right here is Earthquake. Earthquake should do 54%. Maybe he'll switch out. I don't know what he know I don't know if he knows what I'm going for. But I have something to hit. Two of his Pokemon with super effective damage, being Dragalge with Earthquake and Ice Punch, and then Melodic with Thunder Punch. Um, Alakazam dies in one hit to TIE Fighter. Um, if I hit him with like Earthquake or whatever. But I won't get to because he's he'll Shadow Ball me, and Shadow Ball should destroy me. Because Mega Alakazam is so strong and so fast, and the only way I for sure can beat it is Garchomp. That's why I brought it. I brought Garchomp on purpose. I brought him because I need him. If he brings in Melodic, I think I can 2-hit KO Melodic with anything. Well, I can 1-hit KO it with Thunder Punch, but I can definitely 2-hit KO it with other moves. Raikou dies. Dragalge dies. Alakazam dies. The only Pokemon I don't know that dies is Hariyama. I don't know if I can kill Hari- He swapped. He swapped into Melodic. <gasps> Melodic isn't taken too. Melodic definitely is not taking a Thunder Punch. Melodic is not taking a Thunder Punch. Dude, even if you swap around right now, it doesn't matter. I've got him on the defensive, which is exactly what this team needs to do. Because if I get put on the defensive, my team can't keep up. My walls are pretty good, but they can be broken. Gastrodon's a great Pokemon. But he the only thing I could bring it in on is this Melodic. Uh, praying he goes for Scald and not, like, Ice Beam. And Gastrodon cannot take very many Ice Beams. Well, he's an RU for a reason. He's got a great ability in Storm Drain, but he can't do much else than that. I was actually really tempted to run uh, Sandstorm, so Smooth Rock, and then uh, Sand Force with Earth Power. I talked it over with a buddy of mine, but, oh, there goes Melodic. I got a crit, too. Crit didn't matter. I've calced that. From full, it dies. Excuse me. <clears throat> I had to clear my throat. Ah. Excuse me, also, I'm drinking some water. 
this team functions very, very well on the offensive. Um, Rotom Wash is my pivot. I've got Regenerator, Reuniclus, uh, with Recover, and then Combine, Shadow Ball, and Psyshock. Reuniclus was a very last-minute addition to my team. I was going to bring something else. I don't remember, honestly. But I did a couple test battles, and I he didn't do well. He did not do well at all. All right, here's the question. If he brings an Alakazam right now, does Mega Metagross outspeed him? He might outspeed regular Alakazam. This might... Oh, excuse me for one second. My daughter had grabbed her bottle. And was sucking air for a little bit there. Do I outspeed regular Alakazam? 372! Good lord, why is this thing so fast? We're just going for Bullet Punch. He traced Stuff Claws? That's not going to help you. Holy crap, that did 60%. That didn't even kill me? Dude, ban Mega Metagross immediately. That is disgusting. Holy crap, that's 438. I didn't have to bring Garchomp. I think the one thing I'm concerned about right now is that Raikou outspeeding me. Because it does. And I don't know if it'll kill me. But again, in the back, I have Street Shark. So we're going to go for Earthquake on the off chance that whatever he goes for doesn't get rid of me. Ooh, what ability does Garchomp have? Oh, he's got Rough Skin. Okay, just in case he brings in Mega Alakazam. I don't want him to trace some ability. and I don't know what I expected right there. I just didn't want something to go wrong because of Trace. I don't want him to like Trace Regenerator. Alright, there goes TIE Fighter. Here we go. Here it is, right here. Here it is. Here's the moment. Here is the make or break moment. Is he going to leave in Raikou? Because he doesn't know I'm Scarfed. Is he expecting specially defensive Garchomp or something? Is he going to stay in and go for Hidden Power Ice? Here it is right now. This is, Turn 12 is the most important turn of this whole game. The next important turn... Can I kill Hariyama with an Earthquake? Because if I can, I think this game is over. But we are not out of the woods yet, ladies and gentlemen. There is a lot that can go wrong real quick. But I brought Garchomp for a very specific reason. To outspeed that Alakazam. And to not get caught by Hidden Power Ice. Garchomp hits like a monster. But he has to hit the right things. Maybe I'll maybe swap. Maybe I'll scare him out. Then he won't know. Nope, he stayed in. There it is. Scarf Garchomp. Now we've just have to, we just have to kill everything else. <laughs> Alright. Very big threat to my team is gone. Very strong special attacker is gone. I outspeed Mega Alakazam. I'm willing to switch around and sack the rest of my team off just to get this win. I'm not going to stay in if I don't think I can win. Okay, so looking at the rest of my team, Gastrodon can handle... Man, I wish I'd kept Rocky Helmet on Gastrodon. I don't know what I was being cheeky with that freaking smooth rock. All right, he sends in Hariyama with Bullet Punch. I know I outspeed. Here's the question. Do I kill him with an Earthquake? Will I die to a Bullet Punch? <sighs> Do I send in? Do I send in Gastrodon here? I mean, I'd take two hits with Gastrodon. Oh, dude, what if he pulls like a double swap? That'd be pretty cheeky. Maybe he goes for Bullet Punch here. Hopefully he goes for Bullet Punch here. He went for Ice Punch. <gasps> oh, good. No freeze either. That's great. He brought a very good set on this Hariyama. He brought a very scary switch set. So knowing I outspeed this Hariyama and knowing how much damage that did last time, I'm tempted to set up a light screen, but I am just going to click Hydro Pump because I just need to get rid of this thing. If I can just get more damage on it, I can win with Garchomp. I just I have to get as much damage as I can because I have to ensure that Earthquake kills him. 
That's got to be a Soul Vested Hariyama. Since Hydro Pump only did 27%. Yeah. That's a Soul Vested Hariyama. Alright, here we go. Time to Earthquake everything to death. I wonder if Dragalge can take an Earthquake. Dragalge. It's not particularly bulky. It's not particularly fast either. Man, 427 speed on that Alakazam. That is nonsense. That thing is so fast. Alright. Super effective. Right? Right? C ground is super effective against poison, right? I'm not doing something dumb. Oh, thank God. Ugh. Thank the white Christian God. All right, he traced rough skin. I didn't go for outrage, so. Come on, Street Shark. Man, Gastrodon and Reuniclus didn't even hit the field. There it is. Week one's over. 3-0 victory for the Charlotte Hound Dooms. Thank you to my opponent. You played very well. You brought a very good sets on your on your mons. Hope you all had fun watching this video. There are going to be a couple more. I think this is I think it's a five week thing, and I think every one of our quote unquote weeks is two weeks. We've got like two weeks to do every battle. So hopefully I'll get these up as soon as they're done. I really appreciate having the opportunity to do this and I'm very prepared for the rest of the weeks. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.